Ooh, what are those yellow things? Guess who's back? Back again. The vlogs are back. Tell a friend. Actually, don't tell anybody because they probably won't care. Anyways, we're back. We're back with videos. Look at fall. Like fall is here in Tennessee. A lot different than the last video we probably showed y'all, but it's back. So took a small break from uh, vlogging and doing like our videos uh, just because we were a little busy with wedding season. Wedding season, fall, it just, it gets chaotic. And cause the way I see it, so, and some of y'all might not know, like we do wedding videos and small business video and video editing and all that stuff. Um, I don't make a living off of YouTube, as weird as that may sound. Say what? I wish, I really wish I did, and I could just make videos all day long and just have fun, uh, but, but we don't. But the way I view it is if someone has paid me to document their big day, so like their wedding day, and I've got that project to finish, I don't feel it's responsible or right of me to go out and make a bunch of videos and do vlogs and all this other stuff when I'm sitting on their project and they've paid me to, to create something for them. So that's why it was easier for me, just we had seven, like seven weddings in fall and it's just like just tunnel vision, just get them done, slam them out, get them back to the couples and then we're done and then we can start creating more videos and have more fun and then get more coffee stuff going and all that good stuff. But today, we actually have a big wedding in Nashville this weekend. But today, Friday, I gotta go pick up a camera that I'm renting in Knoxville. But while I'm up there, uh, we're gonna stop by, we're gonna stop by this new place, Marble City. So Marble City Food Hall is opening today. And most of y'all know Dustin, uh, Richie Cream, he invested in Richie Cream, brought that back to life. Well, his sister company, Myrtle, uh, that uh, makes the big cookies as big as your head, they've got their own storefront there and we're gonna go check it out so i'm excited we'll get up there we'll check all this out and then uh we'll continue on with with vlogs because because we're back i'm excited okay so i'm excited because we have we have plenty plenty to talk about we got lots of video ideas we got saint jude coming up it's saint jude's in less than a month um, and I've barely gotten back into running after the broken rib thing and everything, but so many fun videos and, and I've gotten tons of questions on that new bill uh, for the, the mandates that, that are happening in Tennessee and everything. So we'll, we got plenty of videos coming. We'll discuss all of it. And coffee. We got to talk coffee because like, I think, I think the trailer's just about ready. I think we're going to do our first event next month, but the coffee has been taking off. Um, I've had some questions on it and I want to explain Fred's Roast a little bit more behind Fred's Roast, like all of that good stuff. So more videos on coffee coming. It is brisk. It's like 41 right now, which is fine. Just sweatshirts and shorts. We're good to go. We're going to heat back up next week into the 70s. Just fall is, fall is literally my favorite season. There's just so much. I don't know if it's just the changing of the temps or the trees or just Halloween and Thanksgiving and going into the holidays. Like... It's just one of my favorite seasons. I don't know why. I gotta run in here, we're gonna work out really quick. We're gonna get headed to Knoxville. We're gonna go get the camera. We're gonna go check out Marvel City. Just, we're just gonna soak up this day and take everything it's gonna give us. Oh, all right, I am, my body hurts. My body hurts, but we're almost through 75 days. So we gotta keep chugging along, all right. Uh, gotta run to Richie Cream really quick. I'm gonna switch cars with Babs. Parking is a little iffy, I've heard, up at this Marble City place. So we'll switch, uh, then head up to Knoxville. Open it. That's your sweatshirt you got. Oh, I Let's love see it. it. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's still like a little damp feeling. Yeah. Or it's probably cold. Oh, because yeah. it was on our porch, Yeah, huh? it was on our porch. It's pretty cool. Okay, yeah. I'm going to switch cars with you and head up to Knoxville. Sounds Is good. Is that fine with you? It's fine with How's me. your day been? Quiet? Good. Good? Quiet. 
Quiet. Yeah, it's all about cookies today, right? All about cookies and milk. Ooh, what are those yellow things? <clears throat> those yellow things. It's vanilla icing. Huh. Uh, Michelle says it's cheese on top of a donut. Kind of looks like cheese. Look at those tricks. Ooh, seven more days. Seven more days. Seven more days and I can have a donut. Never heard it. All right, we gotta run up there. All right, we're in Knoxville. Marble City Market is now open. So Marble City, Knoxville was known for uh, the marble production in the 1900s. That's how it got its name, Marble City. But we are gonna check out Marble City Market. So think of it like a food court, indoor uh, food truck place. Um, there is lofts above it. Think of it as one of those like live to work places, you know? Top Golf Suites, I guess. I'm excited. We're gonna check this out and we're gonna see some faces we know. Okay, so like I said, Myrtle's, the sister company to Richie Cream, has their own spot. They're like the dessert, the dessert spot. Five bucks, come get your cookie. Look at, look at this display. Are you excited? I am excited. It finally, like, it finally opened. So this has been, this has been a long time coming, right? Delays, yeah. well, all kinds no, of stuff. Well, for us, some of because originally it was like June or July. June or July. So now it's exciting because it's finally open. I mean, this is so cool because you think of like food trucks and small businesses, this actually gives them a storefront. Like, it'd be sweet if we had a Fred's Roast like coffee thing here, it'd be perfect. So how cool is that? You want to kill some time? Come swing some clubs at the Top Golf Suites. Okay, so Smash is most definitely not Smash Burger. I thought that's what it was, but I was off. It's not. Maybe it's just a play on word, genius marketing, something like that, but it's busy. So y'all know Donut Theory, the gluten-free donuts that uh, Dustin partners up with. It's really cool that they have a spot now. There's tons of areas. Just opens up the door for so many more small businesses now. All right, so that is a steady stream of people going in. It's new, it's, fan it's fun, like, I'm excited for people to try it. Hopefully those businesses have nothing but success. That's so awesome to see it just be a, kind of like a community thing and bringing everybody in like that, but also, like I said, giving a storefront to businesses that might not normally be able to afford leasing or everything, the build out that comes along with it. So it's really cool because it provides a new way for businesses to get out there. So see if this thing takes off. I know they're talking about doing another type of one over at Kern's Bakery, which is another big deal. So it's really cool to see this end of Gay Street start like, I'm, it's getting to, it's getting freshened up. You got Jackson Terminal, you got all these shops and everything. People love to come stay down here at all these Airbnbs. It's just, the new and the change is just always exciting. If you get a baseball stadium down here now, oh, it's just gonna keep getting better. But that's really cool. So Marble City Market, come check it out, seven days a week. It's, it's, there's something for everybody, that's for sure. Oh, it is absolutely stunning. It's just, look at the color, like, I don't even know if the colors like come across on the camera. Like y'all, I always try to tell you how, how green everything is, but I don't even know if that's gonna come across like it is. It is just so beautiful. We gotta get all these leaves out. Look at all these leaves. I was gonna get those gutter guards. Those gutter guards are so expensive, but I won't have to put deal with leaves anymore. So I definitely, what the? <laughs> the, the, I swear. It's a toss up between goats and chickens. Which one is a dumber farm animal? I will say chickens give you eggs. So they, they're one up on that, but goats? Really? You have a problem there? I think you could get out. You just gotta turn. Hey, come here. 
There you go, dummy. Yeah, you're welcome. You can thank me later. Hey, Babs. Hey. How's the gym? It's good. Just tend to my the goats, you know. That got its head stuck. Yep. Oh, those things are stupid. I was just saying, uh, it's a toss-up. The dumber farm animal is it the goat or is it chicken? Well, at least our chicken doesn't get its head stuck in anything. It's very true. Very true. The chickens don't get stuck like that. They're self-sufficient. Yes, I heard you. Not everyone can be as smart as you two. We know. All right, so that is it from uh, East Tennessee right now. We're just having some fun. We're going to keep pumping out videos. I told Babs, we're going to put our foot on the gas. We're just going to we're gonna make a lot of videos. I'm going to lean hard into YouTube right now because I i am so great. We haven't talked about it yet. We're at... We have 10,000 subscribers, which is, it's a number and it doesn't mean mean anything, uh, but it does mean something. It means a lot to us. So, Baz and I are going to do a lot more videos, I think, here shortly, and uh, we're going to keep having some fun. More on the 10,000, more on East Tennessee, more on fall, more on cold weather, more on puppies, more on goats getting their heads stuck, more on just good times. That is it from East Tennessee, y'all.